Watch Thor. Ragga. Raggers. Raggers and the Rockins. <laughs> raggers. Yeah. Let's go raggers. What? Raggers. Uh, is it? Uh, 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 is anyone calling it raggers? No, it's just, just me. us. It's just thing I'll start. Hashtag raggers. I'll spread it. Social media. <laughs> With 17 followers. <laughs> hey, we got 54 followers on Instagram. Yes, Instagram. Uh, what? None spoilers. Just yeah. <laughs> what do yeah, we do in this uh, podcast thing? Yeah. I've um, Nine spoilers. Yeah. Want to tell me what you thought of the film? Yeah. So just a, an overall general thing is funny. Like it, there was lots of very very funny bits. Everyone was funny. Not everyone. <laughs> Most people were funny. Best review of a comedy. Yeah. yeah. Namely Korg. Tata Watiti. Tata Watiti. Yeah. <laughs> He was very funny. Everyone's going to love him. He's the Groot of this film. Yeah. Everyone's so. going to want a bit of a bit of Korg. A bit of Korg. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag want a bit of Korg. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was like it was nice that being in the cinema and everyone was laughing like throughout the film. Like, that doesn't happen a lot and that was yeah. actually really nice. Um, but... I think this is all people that wanted to go watch it quite soon. Yeah. I mean, it was the first day of it in the UK. Yeah. And it was the first showing. Yeah. yeah. But... Mm, it was at the start I felt like I was watching about 12 different films like I was like where is this going it was just like here there and everywhere and it just it like seemed like they didn't know what to do and like like they were scared to like get into the actual film yeah but I completely agree yeah. we'll get into the spoiler stuff yeah I don't want to say anything more than that but yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it was it, it was a bit dodgy in that respect that it was just not I like, didn't it didn't feel like it knew what it was to start off with which is surprising it, from watching the trailers yeah if you're kind of going in this block, I mean I think the thing with the trailers is it doesn't miss the trailer the trailers aren't misleading mm. but they skip about the first half of the film yeah or the first like Easily. third of the film yeah. and they kind of well, again I'll go into we talk about the narrative but it kind of feels like as, again, if you're going to, if you want to know what it's going to be like, it's like the trailers. They're not anything different. No. It's the same style, but it takes a while to get there. Yeah. And again, annoyingly, most of the best stuff is in the trailers. Yeah, a lot of it is. In terms of misdirection. Yeah. There is some of this misdirection, not with the trailers. Mm. The whole idea of this being a Thor and Hulk. Yeah. Buddy road trip. Yeah. Is a load of nonsense. Yeah, it's not it's, true at all. Yeah. I, again, like, yeah, it's. No. That's very misleading because it was not like that whatsoever. No. But yeah, it's really funny. It was very funny. Nothing, nothing like. I don't think it stands out to like compared to the rest at it's all. It's nothing it's not amazing. Like no, it's nothing amazing. But I did enjoy it. Like, I can't say I didn't enjoy yeah. the film. If it, yeah. it, if it had like found its feet a bit earlier on, that would have been a lot better because yeah. it was just like, honestly, that start when it was cutting from scene to scene to scene, I was just like, oh my god, stop! Like, yeah. why, where is it? Like, and I think I think that is half because you watch the trailers and it looks like that's the whole style of the film, and like you said, it totally isn't for like the first. Yeah, I think about a third. It's, it's totally different from the trailers, which is which is fine, but it just kind of was really jumping about. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agree. Should we go into spoilers? Yeah. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> We've no yeah. need to play the spoiler yeah, thing. We forgot last think, week yeah, anyway. <laughs> I forgot giving up the spoiler noise, which we'll make our own noises. Yeah. Um, That's mine. Start off with saying, so it's not near being one of the worst of, like, the MCEU films no, and it's better no. than the last two Thors which doesn't take much yeah. the first one's okay the second one's terrible I have to say of all the Thor films I've seen this was definitely <laughs> my favourite the wonderful films <laughs> Christ, like, I hate that I hate this. it's the same with Wonder Woman it was like with Wonder Woman it was best DCEU film yet yes because the other two was oh, best oh. Thor film yet yeah. yes because the other two were shit <laughs> I thought Honestly. you said the first one wasn't that bad. It's okay, bad. but like it's not hard to be because yeah. I think everyone, every film since, other than four two, has beaten. Yeah, fair enough. Um, 
I think it has some serious issues in it. Mm. I think the problem is I was thinking this because you have Taika Waititi. It's nice to get these smaller directors in. Yeah. And he's made some great films. And as a director, he makes the jokes run a lot better. Yeah. They're a lot funnier. Yeah. Because it's not that kind of really cheesy superhero comedy. All the sum jokes in there that fall flat. I think I, was, I've re- I wrote exactly that in my notes that yeah. some jokes just fall completely flat, fall, which is fine. And we say fall flat. Oh, it's, not fine. it's the falling flat jokes that fall flat. Yeah. When she fall, basically, there's a bit where when um, Valkyrie falls off the. When she's coming down from a ship, when we're introduced yeah. to the ca- character Valkyrie, Tessa, Tessa Thompson. Yeah. Uh, when she comes down that and just is drunk. Yeah. And stumbles off. I want to say more about that, but I'm going to save that. When she stumbles off. Yeah. Didn't. It looked over the top, didn't really work. Oh, see, I didn't mind that bit. No? No. But it I doesn't work did, with I her think character, she did it okay. really. Like, it, I, I go into it when I talk about her, because well, I've got details I don't know. about her I mean, I think... What, I don't know if I like that she drank a lot and was, like, kind of drunk all the time, because I don't know what it what it added. St- yeah, exactly. And it was over the top. <laughs> it wasn't, like... Yeah. Drink because she was enjoying it. She was just like because she was constantly drinking in the film different stuff. Like yeah. whether it was alcohol or not, because the bottles were all sci-fi. Yeah, weird no, shit. I think it was all alcohol. I think that was kind but of. But then the... that bit, but she fell off that as if she was wrecked. Yeah. But then she wasn't wrecked. Mm. She just kind of didn't. I just don't know. I just didn't. I think she was still meant to be really drunk, but I don't know. And her voice went different. I thought she was Cockney at first. Like she kept changing. Yeah, words. I'm not sure what her accent is, but <laughs> yeah. it was dodgy she kept as from hell. Cockney to just. One, yeah, she did like, one since it sounds Australian. Yeah, and, there, <laughs> and then there was one, and I was like, I can't, I, can't, I don't even know that accent. Yeah. Like, I cannot work it out. No. For head not, head not, for head, head not tail. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I can work it out for, li- I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't work it out work anyway. <laughs> can't work out that saying. Yeah. And I couldn't work out what she was doing. Yeah, no, but saying that, though, she's really good. Yeah. I think she's really good. Yeah, and I mean, just those kind of jokes fall flat. So, yeah. like, and the one with Hulk when he falls flat on the bridge was kind of like, it's all right. And I kind of laughed, but at the same time, you knew mm. it was coming. You knew it was just going to be, I'm going to jump and I'm going to I go. actually have to say that Hulk one, I didn't see that coming. Really? <laughs> I thought, oh, this is like, this is where it's going to turn a bit now. Because a couple of times it did turn a bit serious, didn't it? Like when he saw, yeah. um, when he saw, um, Natasha on the screen. Yeah. And I, and he started sort of losing it a bit. I was like, oh, this is where this film's going to turn now, and it's going to stop all the like jokes and stop being funny. So when he said, "If you want to know who I really am," and jumped yeah. out, I was like, oh, this is going to look cool. And then he <laughs> <laughs> smashed into the bridge. bridge. Yeah. I actually thought that was quite funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get the other jokes. Yes, yeah, so there were some bits that just, but most of it was a lot funnier than the other films. Oh like, yeah, a lot funnier because yeah. you've got a director who does. He's got a great. Sense. Like his, uh, he's sense of all over this film as well. Yeah. Like. If you yeah, if you think of like um, what we do in the shadows and stuff, it's exactly yeah. that kind of slightly improvisational, a bit off the wall kind yeah. of doesn't have to be really mainstream no. humor. Uh, I think I think it's good, and it was nice to see it in this film, but it just like a couple of times, yeah, it didn't work out. And that's what we said. Well, what they said was that there was a few improv bits in here, and the Ooh. improv bits were probably the bits that were funniest yeah, because they felt definitely. more just felt more natural. The stuff they said was hilarious. Say like a lot of the jokes like landing flat and stuff. They did, but I would rather that and it like take a bit of a not even take a bit of a risk, but like I'd rather it was a, a different direct a new director, yeah. a smaller director and it go in this sort of different direction the film feel a bit newer and a bit fresher yeah. than just having like I don't know yeah. stuff you know works because that's boring no completely I'm totally on board from his director yeah. saying that the jokes are the good bit of why you've got him doing it yeah. the only negative I'd say to having him direct this I don't know if it's entirely his fault who wrote, I don't know who wrote the script but yeah. the problem is there isn't really enough storytelling there, like solid storytelling. No. There isn't much. It, like you said, it's quite, it's really jumpy. And yeah. And there isn't much of a story there and it kind of just sort of, it doesn't take, so we'll put it this way, like in terms of a narrative, yes, it has its whole arc and it ends and it has all that kind of stuff, but mm. there's no like proper turns in it. There's no kind of, no. oh, I didn't see it go in that direction. No. Or, oh, I didn't like proper like turns. Like, like you know from the start who the villain is and who is going to fight the villain and what they plan to do and that's exactly and what happens most of it there's in no the yeah and there's no bits like no re- the only kind of spoilery bit that isn't in the trailer that's a reveal is that Hela is yeah. Odin's is their sister. first daughter yeah and their sister yeah and that there was a whole point that's where revealed Odin was within pretty... like 15 minutes <laughs> yeah but exactly <laughs> so, I mean other than that whole arc about her yeah. being Odin's daughter and then ruling the place together yeah. or taking Asgard I think there was one other thing that I thought Oh, I didn't know that was going to be a thing. 
I don't remember what it was though. But I yeah, but whenever it was, whatever it was that I thought that I did think I wonder if there's gonna be any like big twists and like yeah. one character's gonna turn gonna like maybe Valkyrie will actually not be I don't know. Yeah. Obviously she was seeking revenge, so I don't know why she would turn, but she seemed like the only character that kind of could, because Hulk's obviously not going to. Yeah. Thor's obviously not going to, but no one did. Loki just Sorry. sort of half did and then didn't again. Sc- uh, what's his name? Scourge? Mm-hmm. Scourge did. Yeah. Because he went he to He did, but, but I that knew was that was going to happen. Because yeah, he, like, he was really hesitant to be on her side and then... Yeah, and at the end was that all. keeps showing and being like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Yeah. To the point where it was obviously exactly. going to turn. Um same with the story as well. The other issue with this yeah. is the pa- that we just said about it, but the pacing it's is terrible. all over the place. It's like it's completely it's very bad. Yeah, like like you said, the first bit of this film. Like I, I would actually, do you know, I just take so when he goes in and meets the Grandmaster in the intro video mm. with you said the Willy Wonka like style intro yeah. with the music. <laughs> I'd funny. start the film there. Yeah, and this, I know what you mean. all this stuff before with Odin and stuff, I'd have flashbacks or integrate it into it because. It'd be, more, It'd be more interesting. If you put it in there, if you just... Because the thing is, we kind of dropped... Because the weird thing is with this, they drop us in to where Hulk, like where Thor is, sorry. Yeah. He's like, this is how I got here. Yeah. If you're going to do that, why would you not do it when he's got his short hair and he's suddenly been taken there and he's been chucked in that... Like, the trailer makes out that he's just been chucked straight there. Yeah, Or chuck it, it right close to being... Yeah. On Sakaar? Sakaar? Yeah. Sakaar. Yeah, yeah Sakaar. as opposed to all this stuff Sakaar? before. Yeah, I think so. Or is that stuff? I can't remember the full name. That's the thing, anyway. Yeah, go um, on. Yeah. yeah, I think you could have just used those bits and brought them back because all these, like you said, those first like couple, like 30 minutes, you say? Of like 30 minutes? Up yeah. until he meets the Grand Master. Yeah. It's yeah. all very kind of feels like the old four kind of style. Yeah. And it's well, that's, not that's what I was going to say to you because obviously, <laughs> spoilers, I haven't seen the first two, but when we watched the recap videos yesterday so I kind of knew what was going on, mm. I thought, God, this actually just feels a lot like those first two. Like, yeah. where is all that stuff from the trailer? Actually, I think a lot of people will find that when they start watching this film, they're going to yeah. think, this is, like, so not... Because they even yeah. whispered to you, this is so weird. Because it just it felt so odd. Yeah. And when they go, oh, that was it. I didn't know Doctor Strange was going to make an appearance. I think that was the other thing that I was like, oh, okay. he's in it. They, I would say that, but then I knew entirely because they've said that he's in it. Oh, okay. See, yeah. I, did, I hadn't they seen that, that, so I didn't yeah. know that. But again, like, not I'm, not, I'm not sure how much I'm on board with him. With I don't mind character. him. I feel like he should be more of a rookie. And I don't yeah, know how I long this is set like, off Doctor Strange. Feel like... He's changed very quick. Do you know what I think is like a huge thing, and I don't really know why, but I wish I'd just made him English. I think they thought, oh no, Loki's posh in English. We can't have a posh in English Doctor Strange as well. It doesn't work for me in a, in an American accent with Benedict Cumberbatch. I just, if you're going to have Benedict Cumberbatch and he's Doctor Strange, I just think it just like screams make him British. Like that seems like why they cast him. Isn't American as Khan though. Huh? Khan. He's American as Khan. He's American he? as Khan. Yeah. He's alright as Khan. Yeah, but he's not Khan. He's no, no. <laughs> well, I was saying he's good at that. <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, this character, I just feel like, I don't know why, but it, I think it makes it work, and I don't think his accent's very good, and that always distracts me anyway, but I don't know. Either, I kind of thought it when we watched Doctor Strange, but again, seeing him today, I just thought, mm, I don't really like him. And it just made the film again do another jump, where you were like, wait, what world is this? Like, yeah, not Strange what world, really but... Needed. I don't no. know what his point was again. He took Loki and they gave like, he gave him a door. Oh, he gave him a door through to Odin. Oh, through he helped to, him fight yeah, Odin. Yeah. But it's such a small part. Yeah, and it was really like convoluted how they got to him as well. Like, oh, where's dad? Oh, he's not here. Oh, let's go to where he is. Oh, he was here, but now he's not here. Oh, <laughs> now you've been sucked through the floor. Here's well, a card. A joke, go it? to it's this address. The time at home. They could have just gone straight to Doc. Yeah. It was just like. Well, when, did he, when did he sit down with? Because there was a whole bit of Doctor Strange yeah. where he sat down with him at the end. That of was Doctor at Strange. the end of Doctor Strange. Yeah, that I th- I but think the bit from in? this film was because I remember bit, yeah. him having that beer. Yeah, and being sat there. In those I, don't, I don't. I knows. don't remember to be honest, but yeah, it wasn't needed, and the and how long it took for them to get him, I was like, oh god. Yeah, the start yeah. does drag quite a bit. Yeah. This. it's very. It's yeah. just the pacing. It's like yeah. I said, the the, the the like the way it's all kind of 
set as a story. It's kind of like it's kind of like really jumpy, like you're trying to tell a story with a certain yeah. amount of time and you've squished it or not. It almost feels like it. he went, I've got a really good idea for this film and they came up with all of the stuff that's in the trailer and all that bright, colourful mm. sort of stuff and then they went, okay, right, we've how got to we also here? fit all that stuff in at the beginning, like, yeah, yeah, to how we get to this bit and didn't really have a clear idea of how they were going to do yeah. that and so it's just like chop, 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 chop and it doesn't... Yeah, that's, that's what we're just saying about being a buddy road trip. It's not, because they're not really together. She, Hulk's not massively in it. No. I, thought it I thought this was like a, like two, like a teaming up film. Yeah. But it wasn't masses of him. I there? have to say I prefer, I preferred Hulk this time. I'm not really that fussed on Hulk normally, but I felt like he had a lot more of a character this time. Like, As a whole, Hulk, Bruce Hulk, Banner Yeah, and Hulk, Hulk and Eric, yeah, okay. yeah and... Eric Banner. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I always remember Eric Banner's name by going Hulk, Bruce Banner, Eric Banner. Uh, he's not in this, <laughs> so it's just Bruce Banner. Anyway, I preferred both of them this time. I felt like they had a lot more like character, and like you can totally see that they're trying to make a more of a thing of him. But yeah, he was better. He was funnier, and he just felt like a bit more well-rounded. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I liked it. Because if you think back about this, is what I'm not being in it. You think back when he changed, finally changed back to Bruce Banner. Yeah. And they're in that market yeah, kind yeah. of area. Yeah. What's the first thing you think of him after that? When they are kind of already heading up to finish the battle, like to head back to Asgard. Yeah. Like, there isn't much there of for, and no. Hulk is just for. Which yeah. I know it's his film, and I know you have to do that. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. again, like I said, it took too long to get to the whole Colosseum yeah. bit. You said it should have been earlier. I also thought that fight could have been a lot better. Yeah. between them I like the bit where he turned around and smashed him back and everyone was like oh shit yeah no that was good I d- but I just mean the actual like choreography of the fight I thought that could have been really cool like yeah. you could have done some really awesome stuff and it was kind of just like exactly what you'd expect like Thor like picking him up by his ankles and like smashing him about and then them that was of... one of the jokes I was going to say about callbacks was I didn't like when like, was like that's what it's like because I like I knew that was coming yeah, when he when throws he, him out because yeah. Loki was looking about him and saying about like he kept saying oh I know him and that kind of stuff and then he looked at him and was like he's going to do that with him in a second yeah. he's going to throw him about and Loki will be like that's what he did to me and yeah. how it feels and then they made that joke Yeah. other than that most that's of the really callbacks were very yeah. very good Yeah. like Romanov on the screen or the uh, sleep good uh, moon going down whatever she says oh then. right yeah that yeah. was all quite yeah nice. that was good although flipping heck he said it about eight times <laughs> I was like Jesus Christ he said stop saying yeah, it yeah he did yeah yeah yeah, no, that's, yeah, fair enough, he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I think that's half the point, he was fucking shitting himself that he was going to turn into Hulk, yeah. he kept saying, yeah. it was like, dude, stop. Yeah, um, I did like that when he was like, I'm on a planet specifically designed to make me stressed. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, no, there was a lot, there was a lot of really good humour, like, I laughed a lot of times, like, yeah. out loud as well, which is nice. This is the thing, the way they talk to each other as well, it feels a lot more human. It feels more like this is yeah. how they should be talking to each other. It doesn't feel yeah. like robotic. It's, that's the good thing with the humour. They're also, also talking how you'd expect them to talk. Mm. And when they swear occasionally and stuff like that, kind of yeah. it all feels like how it should be. <laughs> yeah. And saying that, there's a moment I really like with Thor, when he's put into the place with Korg. I can't, I'm not yeah. remembering the names because we're mixing so many yeah. names here. <laughs> when he's in that place, when yeah. he first gets thrown in there, and he's Brilliant. speaking to Loki's yeah. um Piss off, ghost. <laughs> Piss off, ghost. Oh, it's when he's gone. talking, when he's <laughs> it's so good. He is there. good. Yeah, that was weird. What? He didn't like Loki when he did that, but then he picked him up and was like, oh, come on, mate, you come on with us towards the end. That yeah, I know. I don't, yeah, I, don't I know think, he's meant to be a bit of an idiot. I think he's meant to be a bit but... silly and didn't really realise who yeah. it, that it was the same guy. But yeah. Oh, um, so good. When he, he's sorry. So I was just gonna say when he's throwing the rocks, yeah, and yeah. then he sort of like he says to him, he comes to him, and he just goes, Thor just kind of goes, "What do you expect?" And he laugh, laughs and goes, "What do you expect? What do you want me to say?" Yeah, there's such good moments, yeah, like, because he's clearly just done with it. He's kind yeah. of just, yeah, they're just very for especially for a Marvel movie like a twelve A. Yeah, the very kind of human moments. Like I that. kept, I kept thinking actually that was something that kind of kept the film really well, sort of grounded because we always say about like films needing heart and I actually feel like this did have quite a lot yeah. like just and not even so much like oh we need to save each other not even that because I know they were trying to save Asgard and that was kind of the whole point but I just felt like they had like good relationships like yeah. re- like they were friends and I know they kept saying oh you're not my friend and then you are my friend but it felt like it yeah. felt really nice in that way I think it's different to a lot of other Marvel Marvel yeah. I liked I liked those moments I liked the bit where he's in the elevator with Loki as well but what I, I like what they were saying. I can't remember what they were saying. But when they were oh. in the elevator going, yeah. when they were with each other, when they, I think it was when they were going to the ship. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. But then they played like violin, kind of like kind of sad, kind of, 
Yeah. It's like you don't. It's so obvious that because because the, the music's like because the score to this, it's all it's quite all over the place as well. The score because a lot of it's yeah. electronic. Yeah. When you have a quieter scene and it's like, oh, it's, yeah. like, it's really obvious you're trying to make it quite emotional, but you didn't need yeah. that music. No. You could have had it a bit quieter. Yeah. But, yeah. I was going to say that actually. So the music in this, it, it was so weird. Like that, the first bit when he's hanging upside down and talking to the fire guy, whose name I can't remember. Sutter, Sutter, Sutter. Yeah. Um, the music in that bit was so quiet, and I know, like we, I think we had a problem with the speakers in the screen that we watched this in. By the way, yeah. so that I think that might have affected quite a lot, but. The music was really, really quiet and really odd. Like I could, I couldn't work out. I was I like, "Is that meant to be a, I like a point?" So it was like, start. "No, but it's like it's really like laying underneath them talking." But I was like, "Is that even meant to, like a point?" So I was like, "I don't even know if I'm meant to be hearing that properly because it was just so weird and the music didn't fit." It was like. Yeah, yeah, it, it was all really all over the place. But I yeah. like the techno kind of digital I love stuff. that. They should have kept that the whole way more. through. Again, that's what the trailer's like. And I thought, yeah, if they have a whole yeah. score like that, that's going to be really good. Yeah. And the bits where they used it were really good. But then, yeah, they kind of stopped at points. And I was like, no. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, saying about that jump as well, the thing is, Which as jump? for, I mean, he, oh, the whole yeah, like sorry. jump from like yeah. Half of the Old Force to this new four. Yeah. The jump is obviously when he gets his hair cut and he's when, yeah. he said when he meets the Grandmaster. I know he always he's always made jokes, but he changes quite a bit in character. And it's quite yeah. an odd jump. This is what I mean. If you cut that first bit and made it the film start and said he then explained why how he got there. Mm. Because because he, he started the film said, Oh, I've already been for all of this, you haven't seen it because it was off screen. Yeah. But I'm still the same four. Yeah. Then he changes. Yeah. And we see him change. He changes character really. He's a quite a different character. He is, yeah. Like, he feels really different yeah. after they cut his hair. That's what I mean, but then they should have had it. If they start this film with him when yeah. he's had his hair cut and he's a different character, and then you could have explained it away as, oh, he's been like this for a while, it's just mm. what he's been doing while he's been off travelling. Because yeah. we, it started with him how he's always been yeah. after he's done that stuff. It kind of felt like a weird jump when he did go a bit more jokey. And... Yeah, and I don't think they did, like, they couldn't show those things, but as you say, I don't know, find another way, like, maybe cut cutting it into what was, to what was the main story, like, cutting in sort of... I hate the word flashbacks, but essentially flashbacks yeah. where you show. Yeah, I think that would have been better. We had as one because well. she touched, Loki touched um, Valkyrie, and you saw her bit, which looks fuck. It's honestly some of the designs. Beautiful. That, that is, some of it is really stunning. Yeah, the, it's the design work. I think is yeah. absolutely insane. Yeah, um, but saying that, I mean, as well with the flashbacks is. I mean, the first scene, the very first scene where he is with skirt tag, blubbery blue, blubbery fiery <laughs> demon monster. Yeah. Um, that scene isn't really needed. You could no. just have it so because because the whole point of that then is yeah. essentially that so that you can see him again at the end. Yeah, because he's I, he, I think he is essentially Ragnarok. He says yeah. that, and that's the whole setup. Oh. That, but you didn't need that first scene. Have that mentioned through it, and have him go, oh shit, because he just remember goes, oh, it's this guy. Yeah, I really in. I felt like the design of him as well, and just that whole kind of fiery devil character. It was really crap. It was felt I like really his mark, lazy. The crown, but yeah, I know what you it was mean. all right, but I've kind of seen it yeah. before. But the dragons were cool. The, dra- the dragons were cool. <laughs> and yeah. that bit saying that that's the first bit in this film where I was like, oh, this is really cool when he's flying away with his hammer and he has the dragon on yeah, his tail. That, oh, uh, yeah, and you saw that like side shot, like yeah, them in silhouette. Yeah, that looked amazing. And then he drops the hammer on its mouth yeah. as well to stop it. Those bits are really cool when they mm. use, like have, like use the hammer for certain like to show like he dropped it on his mouth. It's a smart yeah. thing to do. Yeah. Also, and the flying was cool. Yeah. The opening shot of this film is Blade Runner. <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> the orange sandstorm. Yeah. Um, yeah, performances wise, um, I thought, I thought um, Chris Hemsworth was was really good. He's really funny. Yeah. Um, Jeff Goldblum, does good doing, as he always fine. is, but does he is it's a clever man. He has built a career on being very consistently good and very consistently Weird. the same <laughs> in everything yeah. but kind of makes it work for everything it's really weird yeah. it's really weird because he really doesn't change that much but he is good so that's fine and i really liked um rachel house um with him the, the woman oh, from right, um yeah. hunt for the world hunt people. for the world of people yes yeah, so he's obviously, obviously been brought on a from... mate from yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i thought actually she like i knew she wasn't in it a lot but i thought what she did do was really good and i, I like those two together i thought they played off each other really well yeah but um yeah hella hella was uh, I'm, I'm really disappointed this... she wasn't in it more and they didn't make more of her and i felt like they kept talking about like 
she's all powerful like her power is like ridiculous and blah 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 and actually she just seemed a bit crap see this is what i think of her and i have quite a bit of interest because obviously this is the first female proper villain we've had yeah. in the marvel films yeah she looked awesome looked she amazing. had cool abilities all the mm. spike stuff was very cool mm. she was absolutely fine as it but in my opinion she, she put she was she was overacting it mm. like she's good but at the same time the way like she had why does she have to be able to sp- can't she just speak normal why does she have to be like ha ha nan da 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 like can't you just I know what you mean. Like, she, yeah. that sometimes it was too much. I was like, just speak normal. Yeah, and she kept kind of doing that thing where, you know, when someone, like, has a voice and then they, like, make a joke and then they speak in a normal voice and then they yeah. go back to speaking in that... Do you know what I mean? That's, where they, yeah. She did that a few times and I was like, it's it's not... One, it's not funny because it's, like, a really overused, like, comedy thing. Yeah. And also, it's just really pointing out that your normal voice for that character is kind of, like, annoying, kind of doesn't work. Yeah. Because it was better when she just talked completely normally. Yeah, yeah. she completely agree. Because with it's the same with Loki and Fauna. They don't speak like they did once. They sort of just speak. Yeah, like, like human beings. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think that, and also she kept doing slow walks and annoying like stances. Yeah. Of just look normal, because because like, you're making yourself a really com- like kind of gimmicky villain. Then. Yeah, I know what you mean. She did look awesome. So. Oh, yeah, cool. Her costume. design was amazing. Smashing yeah. the hammer. That bit was cool. Yeah, that was all that cool. kind of stuff. She was yeah. cool. And she's probably one of the better villains, yeah. but she didn't have again. She didn't have a backstory. I, I liked it more when when we first saw her, and she kind of had had just arrived, and her hair was like all over the place. She looked like a little bit manic, like yeah. she looked like kind of unhinged. And I yeah. thought, oh, I hope they really go with that. And she's just a bit like a bit nuts. Yeah. But she wasn't really. I don't mind. Yeah, I like that, and I also don't mind the direction they took it about it being Odin's daughter, and she's back, and she because they made it half that she was pissed off because yeah. he kind of forgot everything. But they didn't play on that enough. Like, that was yeah, a really nice idea. that would have been really cool if it had genuinely been yeah. like she's actually completely heartbroken that she was cast out. And yeah. like, because it seemed like he was really bad and kind of egged her on. And then she went, yeah. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. This yeah. is too much. <laughs> this is the thing, though. It's the, it's the cap, isn't it, of Marvel films because they're 12 and they're meant to be for kids yeah. as well. That they kind of stop her. But yeah, it would have been. Saying that, they swore like at least five times. And then there was a joke about an orgy, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, can you have that in yeah. as well?" I was just really aware suddenly that there was like a really small kid behind me, and I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "It's uncomfortable." It's got awkward next to his parents. I think, yeah, that, like. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But then I say that, but then Winter Soldier and Civil War have quite adult and serious sort of yeah di- going yeah. certain directions, where they true. sort of have like serious consequences and serious decisions to make. That's one thing I would say actually. When you think, well, specifically actually of of not specifically, particularly of Winter Soldier and then this film. How do they, they connect, yeah. exist in the same... That doesn't... This in Guardians was like its own thing. But yeah. that is just, I guess because you have to look at it this way is everything else is on Earth and this and Guardians are off yeah. planets. And no, I know. I know. I know what you mean. It's horrible to connect to because that's such a seriously like, grounded film. It's kind of a bit far <laughs> yeah. And for such a big, big, big franchise, it's like you've got to have a, a bit of grounding... Like a bit of a connection, and it, this this didn't have anything. Like, I cannot imagine them in the same place or time ever. Well, they're gonna be. I know <laughs> it's crazy. That's what I said to you when we saw that Avengers clip when we got home. I was like, oh my god, it's just really weird. Even seeing him stood with them now after watching this film because it just doesn't it no. does not. There's no connection. But this is Part I guess I guess about. Cap's got the biggest jump because yeah. even though they all fought aliens yeah. in the first Avengers, and they kind of Iron Man three gave reacted to that Iron Man 3 was about his he was completely yeah. anxious he got anxiety didn't he because yeah. he was so scared about the whole way he's like I'm, they're all, everything's bigger than me yeah. I was like that was a really nice way of doing that so yeah. he kind of already has faced the idea of there yeah, being a like, lot more yeah, out there that was good but Cap didn't really ever have no he's still trying to get the grips of the modern world <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> still trying to make his poster work yeah <laughs> no they probably have toasters um, what else we said, what else? We said about Valkyrie yeah. already yeah, uh, did you feel like sorry? Just kind of talking about um, hella, 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 hella good. Uh, you just feel like it was just end. It ended so fast. Like they kind of met in the middle of the bridge, and then she was dead. Kind of. Yes. Okay. Saying this, I actually like how it ended. Not that. Oh. But I. But only. I like that. They didn't I save d- the day. No, I like. I, I like how it ended. ended. She's not dead. That's why. 
Mm. And then they still could end it better. And they, do you know what they should, yeah. it shouldn't have been like, oh, no, you I don't know if she's dead or not. It should have been she fucks off or something happens and yeah. she leaves. Or she stays there and they fuck off and she's and then you leave yeah. that as a cliffhanger with her and Asgard. No, I, li- I like how it ended as in I like what the ending was. but And, and also, I was going to say, I really like that it wasn't one of those end fight sequences where there's just so many quick camera angles and now yeah. crashes you actually can't follow what's going on until the very end i like that it didn't do that but equally i don't know it felt like i think i think it was because i think i would have liked it normally but because the start was so buildy uppy when it finally got to they got to asgard pretty quick yeah for when the it end. finally got there to wasn't yeah any middle fights no. they were, after the coliseum they, they were in the Coliseum, and, and then Asgard yeah, then he was Bruce Banner, and then they were there. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was saying. That's what I meant. Bruce what Banner. It, he changed yeah. and They were already back on Asgard. And yeah, kind of felt they just sort of jumped. There wasn't any kind of massive confrontation with the Grand Master. There wasn't any kind of middle fights. There wasn't no. loads of different action scenes. It kind of went to that, and then it went to the end after they were there. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I completely agree. But saying that, but yeah, what I like about it is I don't like that she got. You don't know what happened to her because she's clearly not dead. Because no, I'm pretty sure so, in the yeah. comics, the goddess of death has a thing with yeah. uh, has a thing with Thanos. Oh, okay. So well, she's I wouldn't. Okay, in yeah. War. It, it does make more sense as well that sh- she isn't dead because I don't. I feel like she's a character that has a bit more. Yeah, but I would have had a. Do. Yeah, but where I, I don't want her to be like fallen. I want. I, do you know what I like? How the whole, whole idea of they're gone. It's really hard because I like the idea that they're like, no, we need to leave Asgard as in the place, not the people. We need to just let it go. Yeah. Let, Rag- let Ragnarok happen. It's about letting it happen. So they just let it, just accept it. Yeah. Let that motherfucker just destroy it so she can't have it and they yeah. fuck off on a ship. That's really nice because yeah. it feels like it feels like the end of Empire Strikes Back. It's, yeah. Everything's yeah. fucked and they've had to go. Yeah. It isn't like an entirely happy ending. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't like that she just disappeared. I want her to either have some sort of, I don't know. Yeah. Because I was saying that, I'd like her to be holding Asgard and be like head of that place and have her own place. Yeah. But also, that wouldn't work with what I just said about destroying no. Asgard. So I don't know. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I don't though. know. I Make know, two yeah. separate movies. Yeah, two alternate movies. You've got to vote on them. Yeah. yeah. Um, other characters we said about Valkyrie. We yeah. haven't said about Loki properly yet. Yeah. He's alright in this. He's fine. He's good. He's just. Um, I don't, that's the problem with not having seen the others. I don't really know his like arc that well. But I don't know. He just felt like a bit flitty. I was like, he's good. He's bad. He's good. He's bad. And I know that's his he's whole thing. The whole time I know, yeah, annoying. no, that's what I'm saying. I, I know that's his whole thing. But I wish they'd done something different for this then. Because. <laughs> Till the end where he did finally go kind of good, but then it kind yeah. of didn't work. Just I want him to die. I want him to die. I said to you, I was hoping he's going to die at the end of this. I've raised yeah, the stakes. I, th- I and think he might die. At his time, saving four. four. In I didn't forget his name. I just <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> thought it was obvious, and then realised I probably should carry on talking. Yeah, uh, yeah I, d- I don't know because then it's just really weird when they did that whole like. Um, um, oh, the get help thing. That was really, that was really <laughs> yeah. good. Again, it's some really... It is really funny. It's really funny. I, I think we, we did it's this really, with Playmates really where we criticised a lot of stuff. Yeah. But it, we were it's just, really but the, funny. It is good. Yeah. But the, yeah, and then he kind of tried to sell him out. And I was like, I don't buy that that is the, the point you choose to do this. Do you know what I mean? When he tries to watch You know, well, he try, yeah, as soon as they get out the lift, and he says, like, oh, get help, my brother, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And then he immediately tries to tell the Grand Master where he is, doesn't he? He tries yeah. to, like, yeah, s- yeah. like sound the that- alarm of Thor's location. I was like, I don't buy that this is the point that you decide to, to like, to screw him over. It just didn't feel right. And I know straight after kind of they fit- just made a point yeah, about it. Yeah, after they just sort of had a moment. That was the whole thing about trying to compact so much into this, wasn't it? Is that they yeah. made a point about it and they instantly played yeah. on that point. Yeah, I yeah. completely agree. That was There's too many twists and turns, and not at the right time. I feel like, but yeah. yeah apart from that, I have to uh, just really quickly mention the costume in this was so good. I thought just all the costumes, just all the costume, the costume design, yeah. well, costume design, costume and just designs design in general wonderful. for ships and the planet and the yeah. colours and yeah. how yeah. vibrant it's just the whole so. world. I really love that whole, the whole thing. I feel I don't like his, the only thing I don't like in terms of design is Grandmaster's outfit. It's just because he's wearing sandals and a stupid robe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's a, it's but a bit silly, but I kind of believe it. Like for his character, like he was. He was... Yeah, it felt a bit Star Warsy. The masks. Yeah, I know did. what you mean. Actually, yeah. The like weird, like look, I had polos on masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They and Star they seem to have like to be holding sticks, not yeah. sticks, like staffs, and like yeah. Well, I think that's staffs, why this film. So it's just in my mind. I think someone did it for that. Yeah. I think why this film feels so jumpy is because there's a lot of characters, yeah. and there are scenes that you could have found alternatives. So when you inter- when you're introduced to Valkyrie, when yeah. Thor first lands in that like garbage area, yeah, you have all these scavengers, and it's just that scene, and then he'll get wrecked. 
and that's that bit then moves on yeah and like, there's just those bits where it's like but i think it's because you use so many different locations there's no having like characters return to locations yeah that's why it feels jumpy because you're going it's like the first guardians feels quite jumpy because you're yeah. going to so many different planets so quick. yeah i get really confused with the first guardians and the second guardians because there's so many different locations i always think oh wait what jump. was that yeah it doesn't feel like yeah. oh that one was there and that one was there it just so feels spend yeah. much time in one place no you're switching the first you're right. yeah because in the first guardians they go to nowhere which is the planet which is the old celestial's yeah. head yeah 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 and they're there for like 20 minutes in yeah. terms of film time you're like whoa whoa, whoa. and they keep yeah yeah. that's probably what makes the pacing quite hard yeah. to match because they don't really go back to anywhere do they no the only sort of location that you see repeated is is where Odin dies <laughs> yeah that was weird but you keep the like seeing bits. him yeah that was a bit weird oh actually saying that you know when his eye about to say gets... the line or oh. no, sorry carry on no, I was just going to say when his eye gets gouged out yeah that makeup looked dodgy like I it did think, not look like I his think, eye was gone no was gone. I think I, would try, I saw that after because after it looked like he just had his eye closed and there was just loads of red around it yeah and it, look, it looked like his eyelid happened. was painted black yeah weird I think what actually happened is she swiped his eye with a blade with oh. a knife and it kind of I reckon she, I think she either cut his eye out or yeah. scratched his eye and his eye because he doesn't have an eye he's like that now yeah or she just scratched it and he's got it closed and it's all just blood around it it's really weird she, she didn't scratch like his, any of the that. skin she just got the eye by the looks of it I'm yeah. also surprised she lost her eye right, fair enough to that that's the only other thing though. I didn't expect him to lose an eye yeah that's pretty cool I, I feel like I wish that... to get it back but yeah but no. I kind of wish they'd made a little bit more of that because she went oh now you look like dad or yeah. daddy or whatever and he didn't really like he did not seem in any kind pain of pain not like, yeah. at all he he's got like, oh, stabbed his pretty bad gone. The, uh, shoulder as well yeah he did he at one point it shoulder. went straight through it yeah but yeah no and I know, I know he's a god but still losing an eye surely there'd be a bit of like slight discomfort like I you're don't, right I don't yeah, know the rules to his health I like... was punching in the face which should have crushed his skull yeah that's true but then he got a knife to the eye and... that was another thing actually I was going to say <laughs> absolutely trash in this film now it's not bad um, what, after they had that fight and all the girls were like round him putting all the like cloths on him to like yeah. treat his wounds and stuff he had like the weirdest like little scratches here Scrazes, and there yeah. and I was like it's I like don't know what cage. that is mm. like I don't know how his health works. I feel like he either ha- needed to have like horrific bruising or like nothing because he had no bruises. But he had a lot of cuts. Crawling on car- yeah, carpet yeah. bags. Yeah, yeah. I don't it know his very health. Weird. His health and sort of yeah, yeah how it takes damage I don't is know, strange. But that was a bit weird. Yeah. God of Thunder stuff is cool. Very cool. I like very, the whole very, like crawling cool. his body and his yeah. eyes. Although you were saying about that bit where he got his eye cut out. Yeah. They repeated the line. She said, what are you the god of again? She's like, what are you the god of again? Yeah. And then he flashes and sees Odin. He's talking to Odin. Yeah. Then he comes yeah. out of it and she goes, remind me, what are you the god of again? Yeah. Is she saying it again? Yeah, I don't know. Or are they repeating know. the scene? Uh, that's exactly what I was again, trying to work it's out. It's really poorly written. And if it's yeah. repeating the scene, yeah. you didn't need to. You could have just him go, he comes back out. Yeah, Odin this eyes is exactly what I thought. I think, really I strange. think, I don't think she was saying it again. I think it was Splashing, just, yeah. just so She's you know, jarring, we're picking it? up where we left off. But I got that. Yeah. I was very aware that it was a flashback. Yeah. It's Not a flashback, jarring, but like a... I mean, I say it again. Yeah, I agree. It was weird. Um, that's performances, really. CGI, CGI's fine. Again, a lot of it probably looked absolutely stunning. But then yeah. that, <laughs> what's really funny, like, it all looks amazing. So yeah. the ships look amazing. The planets look amazing. I all this looks amazing. Say. When you come to getting a hillside, yeah. you can't get a sky. No, <laughs> they filmed some of this in Australia. You're in Australia oh and you can't get a cliff. I don't understand what that was because obviously <laughs> when they were filming them front on, when they were filming their faces, what what was behind them was real. And then when it was filming their backs and like looking out to it the water. Been like, they might have just been on grass and they put a screen in front of the sky. It was awful. It looked I, so bad. It's the light on Thor's hair. Yeah, was, uh, yeah exactly. And they head. obviously had like a wind machine in front of them. So that their hair was wasn't blowing much wind, because nothing the was really blowing, but their hair yeah. was moving. Yeah, but um, I just thought it was so bad as well because Odin went, "Look at that!" and I was like, "Don't point at it. Like it's bad <laughs> enough." You see the say. shadow of his finger on the wall <laughs> of the sky. It just quickly puts it down. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I I don't understand why. It's just they... funny. The most human location, most earth earthy location yeah. you have. It's the most CGI heavy looking. I don't know if it's maybe because of the water or something. I don't yeah. know. I was trying to work out what the reason would have been why the hell they would have done that, but it looked awful. Yeah, like it looked really bad. Oh, I just punched the mic. Ugh, <laughs> bitch. Um, yeah, that was bad. I liked Odin in this. Who? Odin. 
I thought you said Dodo. I like Dodo. Yeah. <laughs> Dodo in this. Dodo. He was alright. Didn't do. Didn't he? Wasn't it masses? No. I thought. It, I thought again. It was kind of like, what, why is he dying? That's a bit weird. It turned into sparkly gold glitter. Yeah, stuff. and when he was like. <laughs> Come on, I don't have much time. I was like, "Why? Well, you seem fine to yeah. me. <laughs> you're, you're walking, you're at the yeah. retirement home, you're yeah. back in looking you after yourself. You seem really okay. Like... <laughs> I thought when he went off his like, gold embers, I was like, yeah. what? What's happening there? It was really weird. It's like he cremated himself. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Strange. I don't understand that bit. But then clearly all. he was, it didn't really explain very well, he was holding her back. I don't know where he was keeping her. Yeah, because she came he through did, when he went, and he was saying it's already started. He did say it was where she. He. <laughs> he did say where she was imprisoned, but I don't remember what he said. Subtitles it is then next time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I don't remember. This um, feels. Sorry, just the next point. Mm-hmm. This feels like it's taken quite a lot of inspiration from Rick and Morty and Samurai Jack. Rick and Morty, because of the funny alien and the improv. Yeah. I think they know how popular it is now with Rick and Morty. Yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah. if he might have seen this and gone... Because he does, obviously Toko Watiti does a lot of improv, but this kind yeah. of weird aliens yeah. making jokes. And about, and again, you know, do you know what remind, uh, reminded me of Rick and Morty the most? What? Devil's Anus. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a Rick and Morty... Like, the whole idea of it being like a portal. Yeah. And they've called it Devil's Anus. Yeah. It's a big report. Making like fart jokes and like... I know, new honestly, jokes. I, I didn't want to laugh. Like, I kind of funny. laughed the first time. But every time when they were like, we're almost at the devil's anus, I was like, <laughs> like you But the thing is, they didn't say it poorly, they not. said it quite funny. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's just like Loki said it yeah. in the yeah. anus. Yeah. yeah. I want clear passage through the devil's anus. Yeah. Or through the, the anus. anus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny. And then so Samurai funny. Jack, just the because of the like art style. And yeah, the design of. Hello, uh, yeah. The yeah. art style and the colours and again the quick fire action. Yeah. And the throwing blades and all that kind of stuff is what reminded me of that last yeah. series. Yeah. Um Yeah, I mean but I also this film does earn like most of its points of like serious style yeah. and design, as we've yeah. already said, like all of the all of the costume. It's just, because yeah. this is what you want from this is what a lot of a lot of the time you don't want every comic book movie to be dark and brooding. Only when no, it works. No, only no, works no. with characters like Daredevil and Batman. It doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't work for everyone. It doesn't work for the ones that are a bit silly, like like this. That are, yeah, <laughs> from another world, have the power of a hammer. I really like that too, actually. When he said, to, "I know that it was like the flashback style probably didn't work in that way, and her repeating the line wasn't great, but I did like what he said to him in that flashback about not needing his hammer, and that that was never the source of his yeah. power. It was there was something to like, like for him to hone his power into, and like let like." control it in a way I liked that a lot I thought it was really cool yeah yeah again though, good. she shown in the trailer that she smashes his hammer no because I would like to have been surprised and go oh fuck that's his hammer god because none of them have actually lost their sort of yeah. I imagine he's lost his suits but he always has more Cap's shield hasn't been broken yet it's been no. scratched and shit this is the first time one of their proper weapons has it's been gone. shattered and has actually gone Can and he didn't get, get it back at any one? point uh, I don't know. In the comics, he has an axe now. I'm pretty sure. Like, there's different oh, weapons okay. you can have, like stuff. But Do you think he'll get a weapon back? Did he have a weapon? I reckon he might get an axe. I feel, I feel like it'd be weird if he doesn't hold anything. Yeah. And when they're all stood there, like well, ready if he's to doing go. This fun thing. True. You know, makes fun the weapons. I'm yeah, because sure. uh, uh, not Natasha thingy. Uh, Scarlet Witch doesn't have a weapon. <laughs> Scarlet Witch, the circle maker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see yeah. what I was doing with my hands there while you're listening, but I was making, like, ball shapes. Ooh. But I like the ball shapes. <laughs> but I like the hammer. And the I way like he used it in this film. I like the bit where he was threatening Loki as Odin, throwing it beside his head. That was so good, That was yeah. cool, and then put his head in the way and yeah. you know, nothing will stop this. I yeah. like the way, the way he said about the hammer, that was really cool. Yeah. And, like, bits like that, really... Any bit of the hammer, and then we flew about the start and then chucked it on the mouth of the weird dragon yeah. monster. Those bits of the hammer were very cool. <laughs> that bit at the start when they did that play, that was another surprise. <laughs> it was Matt Damon oh, playing Loki. I knew Loki. that as well, annoyingly. I didn't know that. I because, didn't know that. <laughs> because I'm a... Uh, They'd mentioned that it was a whole source saying that he might be him having a cameo in this. And then Aww. I saw on a talk on a, I think it was on Jimmy Fallon or something, I saw that they were on it. Oh, and no, I Matt didn't Damon know kept that. coming into the background. Or was oh, it Jimmy really? Kimmel, maybe? Anyway, I can't remember. It was a talk Who show. was playing Thor? Was that his brother? Possibly. He no looked idea. Like, a bit like his One brother. Of his other, not yeah, thingy. Um, I can't remember his name. One of them. It probably would remember. be quite funny. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah, maybe. But um, I thought it was so funny when uh, when Loki is Odin. He first sees Thor, and he's like, "Shit." Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. They swear it rarely in this, but sounds like, I can't remember. There's something about uh, forces about pissing off or something. Yeah, so I can't remember who says it. Yeah, he says, yeah, he says 
earth or sad. He's like, I'm not sad, I'm pissed off. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Well, they, yeah, the few times I do swear, <laughs> adds to it. This film is very funny. But I would like to see it again for the, for, yeah, for the, the comedy funniest. alone. This is definitely the funniest, definitely. Yeah. The only ones that are close to are probably the Guardians films. Okay, really yeah, I was going to say the first time, it. it feels like when I first saw Guardians. Yeah. And being like, oh my god, these can be funny. Yeah. Because they hadn't been before that. Yeah. They've kind they've of all cos- They've gone all like... The humour from... Yeah. Yeah. They've gone all style They have, They've yeah. they really changed them up. They have. Same about the CGI, though. Just problem back to that. There's yeah. one bit in this where he's jumping about, force jumping about, and yeah. one of the Black Panther trailer where he's sort of back and forthing off, like ju- like doing crazy jumps. That looks a bit weird, weird CGI. Oh, yeah, I know. When he jumped through the window. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh when he throws that ball and it smashes him back in the face, yeah. But then he jumps through the window. Yeah, yeah, when he was jump, jump when he was jumping down all of those buildings, that yeah. looked dodgy as hell. Yeah, 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 it does. So uh, connecting to the Black Panther, because Black Panther is based on Earth now, because it's based in Wakanda, which is a made oh, up yeah. place. Um, which was in South Africa, but it's made up Wakanda. Oh, um, the style of that looks very it. similar to this. It's very colourful. Yeah. It's all these crazy like designs, but that one's on Earth. It's saying about them not being on Earth like this. Yeah. They're just kind of going this colourful, aren't they? Because the success of the first Guardians, I think they started going, let's throw us into this yeah. kind of... And kind of, they can't, they, they have to as well. They have to have... They can't just have Guardians be like that and everything else be yeah. different. Cause Especially because they're leading to it all I was going like to say, just Infinity because... Infinity War yeah. is all going to be crazy because yeah. they're all in space. Yeah. Well, I think it will probably take place on Earth. Bec- uh, on Earth. It will take <laughs> place on Earth. Earth because they've just gone to Earth yeah. and they just saw that ship in the post-credit, yeah. whatever that is. I was going to say, oh, spoilers... You should have watched it if you watched the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeez. But yeah, yeah. interesting where they're going that. Um, have I got anything else? Anything else? I don't think I do have anything else, no. Just just, just about say... cool scenes in general. Mm. Uh, I don't mind seeing Hulk versus Hela's wolf. The giant ass wolf versus Hulk. The wolf, the wolf was awesome. wicked. I love that wolf. Yeah. I kind yeah, of I wish that. it was used a bit more. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, I wish it had been too. How big was the arm? It was about twenty guys, twenty dead guys. It didn't look very big. I know, <laughs> yeah, I know. But she was like, "I've missed you." I was like, well, "All three of them." I wish, <laughs> I wish that they weren't in it. She didn't need them. No, she didn't need the like dead army. It's just a, a disposable army again. She was yeah. pretty. She took on a whole. This is the thing. She took on a fuck ton of people at once. Yeah, and them I know. I th- I think my problem with that was is she didn't look very good fighting at points. Not all the some time, of, but some, some of them. Yeah. I was like, I don't believe that. She looked a little bit weak and a little bit slow, and they tried to kind of slow it down to make yeah. it look. But I don't think it quite worked. I'm sure not all of it was her fighting anyway. But yeah. Some... I didn't believe all all of the time, which was yeah, which is difficult then because when they're like, she's the most powerful person ever. It's like mm, she, she got beat. <laughs> well, no, they fought in. But then, but at least they didn't. Okay, but at least okay, I said this. The some of the story beats like that bit when she's fighting and she's like, oh, not dead yet, and then the leader guy gets up. Yeah. Why is he the one guy in that whole fucking crowd who's not? I know. Dead? What are the and odds? Well, he's got a bit of a bruise on his face. Yeah. But saying about story beats though. um she does at the end. I like the fact that they didn't go back on what they said, and the mo- thing from Moana killed her. <laughs> from Moana. Yeah, it's what it looked like. Oh, hey, hey, chicken. What are you talking about? <laughs> the big um, what the oh, what's it called, man? Oh, the the big thing at the end of Moana. It's all fiery. Oh, it yeah, like. yes, like it does. Mixed with Sorry, the yeah, devil that's exactly from what it looks like. yeah. The devil from Doctor, one of the Doctor. Yeah, episodes. I was gonna say it looks like that. Yeah. yeah, mixed with those two. Yeah, it does. Um. Yeah. She got four couldn't defeat her. Yeah. That was um, that's true. Not actually, defeat yeah, because she says you can't defeat me. He's like, I know, but you can. Um, but yeah, but like, yeah, the fact yeah. that he didn't, they didn't go back on that. This is really depressing. So we're sat here doing this because it's the evening. It's just slowly getting darker. And I, I know. Just, we're just keep talking. <laughs> being completely pitch black. Yeah. We can't move and turn the light off. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah. That's it's funny you said that about Doctor Who because it's exactly what I thought right at the start. I was like, oh. It looks exactly like that one. Yeah. 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 It would be right. Yeah. So, Hulk vs. Hela's wolf was cool. Flying away from the dragon was cool. Yeah. Uh, when Hela... I, see, I didn't mind her fighting. What bits of it looked a bit odd. Just call her Halo. Hela. 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 The knives, the knives were cool. I like the knives. The knives, yeah. I didn't like Scourge in it. He, I like Carl Urban, but he wasn't needed. Oh, that's, as what, a I gonna, that's what I was going to say. Could she not just be by herself with the wolf? No one else, just have no, her and the just wolf. Her and the that that would have been cool. I wanted to see her ride that wolf too, because yeah. you saw it in the um, 
putting the portrait of her and Odin on the. I like that bit as well. Oh my god! Wasn't she on I... it when they were when it showed the f- flash from Valkyrie running at them and flying horses? Oh, was she on it? Then? I can't remember if she was. I don't on know it. what no, she, she was, was on. Anyway, I don't. I don't know, but I wanted to see it like running with her on it. That would have been cool. Yeah. But um. I like that it fought Hulk. That's yeah, very cool. yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, I loved the uh, like that Odin had. Odin. Odin had covered the um, portraits with like ones of him and yeah. Loki and Thor, and then she like broke down the ceiling. You saw them underneath, but <laughs> she broke that ceiling down, and they just stood underneath <laughs> it, and we were meant to believe that nothing fell on them. That yeah. was ridiculous. I more laughed at that. Okay, this is the problem with this. Actually, saying this with stories, well, the the cuts don't make sense. And what would it make oh. sense about it? And then nothing fell on them, and she kind of looked like she was expecting nothing to fall on them. Oh, yeah. She cut it a certain way, or whatever she did. But yeah, right, right after the shot of it falling, yeah. it shows them fine, all the rubble still on the ground. I was like, that's not how rubble falls. You, you would have a bit of... Dude, that oh, shot's right, really yeah, weird. The no, next no, shot is no, them looking yeah. up and it's all still on the floor. Yeah, like no, it's just literally like been no there dust. for 10 minutes. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. what? Yeah. But there's oh, there a few was, cuts. There was yeah, the one with Valkyrie doing yeah, it. She, she stabbed jumped. her in the back yeah. at the end and then turned, she jumped forward and then the next shot was her sliding backwards. Sliding backwards, yeah. We were both like, Ooh. There was quite a few cuts now. I was like, that makes yeah, what? I was like, dodgy. really weird cuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I was trying to say to you the, I said about the ending, how they didn't save the day, how that was Yeah, awesome. I, I, I really did nice. like that. I did like the ending. And because they were all kind of on the ship, like... And um, because it doesn't need a complete <sighs> ending because it's going to carry on. Exactly, they, do, yeah. they all carry on. They can take that into yeah. like, mind. Like, okay, it doesn't need going. tying up. Yeah. Um, what I was trying to say to you, they've solved, they've solved the uh, problem here. What problem? They plot hole with the gauntlet, the infinity gauntlet. You know, she knocked off a gauntlet and she said fake when she was oh, in yeah, yeah, space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an infinity gauntlet, which they showed as an Easter egg in one of the, I think it was the first four. Oh. They showed that gauntlet and said, well, no, they didn't say anything. They just showed that gauntlet. Everyone knows that's the infinity gauntlet. Oh, right. And it was for one hand. And Ultron grabs another one that he already has, which is for the other hand. Everyone was like, why are there two gauntlets? Because you've oh. shown one in four and because these are all connected. Yeah. Why is there that one and the one that Ultron has? What is the one that four is in four? Oh, right. They've explained that away with her knocking off and going, it's fake. Oh, clever. So they've got one more. So they've kind of completely solved that oh, issue. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that. It also made me laugh that in the room of ornaments that he had in the, in the room of ornaments that he had yeah it was the tesseract yeah <laughs> the fake gauntlet yeah the mask that Thor had just brought back yeah and the eternal and the fire that they needed yeah, yeah. nothing else <laughs> I think it was the room of convenience of this. yeah the room of convenience <laughs> yeah. just in that order as yeah, well yeah exactly yeah they did, they did loads of quests just the first Avengers with Loki like loads of quests with him him and Thor and uh, him and Hulk sorry about him looking at the Tesseract funny and all that kind of stuff. They yeah. had quite a lot of like callbacks just to just that compared to the other films. I yeah. guess it makes sense because Loki yeah, hasn't really yeah, yeah, other yeah. than the Dark World, but that had all the others in it. Hulk wasn't in that. But yeah, uh, I think that's everything I've got to say How about you. Uh, only that Chris Hemsworth has tiny eyes. Tiny eyes. Never realised. Big ass arms. Tiny, tiny eyes. Eye. Yeah, his arms are. Has he got one tiny eye now? Yeah, one tiny eye. Two very large arms they're weird yeah they kept moving oh I was saying that they couldn't help but make him topless for like a minute oh I know I thought I know every time he's like oh oh like getting up it's too long it was was such a long (laughs) shot of him just kind of stood and like turning slightly like you got it you got it okay now I'll put my shirt on yeah no I thought that it was really it was really like ridiculous and and obvious I know that's to do with I know that isn't to do with him as a director I know he's probably been asked to whack him in the nude for a minute Probably. So why does it make a joke about it? That no, they're a joke about the disguise because of how ridiculous it's wearing a hood. Yeah. But then Scourge was wearing a hood at the end for yeah. half, like for like half, twenty minutes on that ship. Like, oh, I hope no one notices me. Yeah. It's that weird bald guy who looks yeah. like really fucking distinct. Yeah. I oh the bit with Scourge at the beginning actually I was gonna say and him like with those women and then the dragon coming in and them like getting covered in that gun and they were like ah. And then they ran off, and he's like, "Oh, ladies, come back." He's like, "Oh, thanks very much." I was like, "Is this a joke?" Like, it was really bad. It was a really yeah. crap bit of script, and just really like, it's re- do you know what I mean? It yeah. was just really. That's poo. more Marvel style joke. Like, yeah. Kind of, yeah. I didn't. Really I was great. just like, "Oh, come on, yeah. no, do well, better." <laughs> yeah, but as good. a whole, it was a good film, and I really enjoyed it, and I laughed a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a fun film it's a family it's very, film this isn't fun. a serious one like Winter Soldier no. or Civil War was it? which so, is fine yeah because we've got ones for that and yeah, yeah. no it's it's it, yeah 
Yeah. Well done for making it that funny, I think. Because yeah. I don't good. I've I don't know whenever I laugh like that at like really big films. Yeah. The, I I think actually probably the last time that I was in um in the cinema and like hearing people laugh like that was probably um Deadpool. Dunkirk. Dunkirk, yeah. <laughs> oh Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just stop. Deadpool. No. Yeah, I think yeah, that's that's the only time I can ever remember. But actually I think this was more because it was all the way through. Yeah. If I, yeah. I yeah. It did not I drop off on the comedy. Deadpool. No. It, kept, it was it was from beginning to end. No, it got better. It got a lot better, end, yeah. yeah. At the start I was like because obviously we've seen all the reviews saying how funny it is and at the start I was like, This is not that funny. This is gonna be like really obvious humour, but it wasn't. It was good. Completely agree. It was good. Out of ten, you can you can go first this time. I I'm like gonna go seven point eight. Seven point eight. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had that in my mind, but I wasn't gonna say it. Oh. But I thought seven point eight. Yeah. I'm gonna go seven point seven. Okay. Very close. Yeah. Because because it, it was good and it was entertaining. It was yeah. funny and it worked as a film. Yeah. But it didn't live up to my I'm going to change mine. I'm going to go eight. eight. Yeah, I'm going to go right. eight. Because it looked very good. It was really funny. And I think the only things that let it down were like being a little bit lazy with um, like with the ending and how the villain was kind of carried out. Yeah. But I, lo- but I, re- yeah, I really like the ending and also the start was too jumpy. But yeah. that's kind of it. I completely agree with that. But the only reason why I give it a bit less is yeah. because it didn't live up to the excitement I had for it. Because, oh, I had, because it looked so crazy... I think by yeah. the time it came around, because they had so many trailers, you kind of got used to it. Had, can you imagine if they just released this film with one teaser and it was just him going and stood in the scene for the Hulk? That's the problem working at a cinema yeah. as well. You see it constantly. It's always in your face. Yeah. You can't really avoid it. Yeah. So I think it is. Perhaps if you don't work at a cinema and you have only seen the trailer once, it would be better. Yeah. But I also think that if... Oh, pardon me. Oh my God, we're keeping you up. Jesus, how do you expect people to listen when you won't even talk without yawning? Um, um, what I was saying, it didn't live up to my excitement because I know where the, the same thing for The Last Jedi is because it's a franchise film. I'm getting worried about The Last Jedi because it's like, I don't know. It's I 12 feel like... a, probably. Well, yeah. This is the thing that scares me with them. I have all these kind of ideas of like, and same with Blade Runner, that lived up in different ways, that was fine, but like all these ideas of cool storylines or cool ways they could take the story or like how they can make it like different to just a really plain defeat this bad guy, but then, and then they don't. And I'm really worried it's going to happen with Last Jedi with this, because I thought with this, oh, this could take an interesting turn. Could Ford die? Could people die? Could it go differently? And I like, like I said, I do like how it ended, but it didn't feel as crazy. Nothing will ever give me that feeling when we watched Force Awakens for the first time and thought, oh my god, we're actually watching this, this film exists, this has come back. Yeah. And I thought with this film, was like, oh my god, this is so crazy. <clears throat> yeah. But it kind of didn't. That was something I was thinking, actually, in that in the last scene with her, and I was thinking, I'm not, like, on the edge of my seat, and I'm never going to be, because it's never going to be, oh, she's, she's killed Thor, killed Hulk, killed Valkyrie, mm. and now... Like it's just her. It's not gonna happen. Right. So knowing that, you just well, you always expect the villain to lose somehow. Yeah, exactly. Which, is, which she kind of did, but yeah. they also kind of took a turn and made it so they she lost. But then also they took some pretty. Well, yeah, big that hits. was why I was kind. Of, yeah, that's why I was kind of pleased that it went that way because yeah. it it like it did as much as it could without kill, just killing everyone off. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree. And that would do. I'm that. gonna change mine to <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> you know, eight. But eight. please, yeah. Hey, but please, enough. but please, Last Jedi, don't. If the trailers aren't misleading us or misdirecting us, then please don't just go how we expect the trailers to go. Like surprise Leo, us. He said this is not gonna go the way yeah. you think. <laughs> Maybe that was why he said it. Oh my god! I think that is why. I think it's like it's a little smart. I think they've dropped that in, and now we're. Why? Um, that it's not it's not he's not it's, uh, a sense of the audience him yeah. crying not crying but like being all teared up and her staring out I don't think that's no. that can't be if they have put that in the trailer him about to like shoot them down and her just stood looking and him teary and they put that in the trailer then they're idiots but they're not because you don't think it's going to happen because it's in the trailer. So they might have double bluffed you. The same happened with no. Civil War. No, because, no, 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 no. <laughs> because, no, because you'll see him sat there and you'll see her stood where she is and you'll go, oh, well, it's coming. 
when you if you see both of them in those locations yeah. within like a three minute thing of each other, you're gonna know. Also, aren't you? why do we know that she's he's about to shoot her ship? Like I know they said they know her ship, but he could be they could have edited it well enough that he was about to go kill someone else and she knows that they're about to get it. Yeah, I know that's what like, I'm saying. Oh, but fuck. people people were saying, Oh look, it's like him deciding whether he's gonna kill his mum now as well. Yeah. I can't it can't be. But then, like you say, I'm thinking so much that it can't be. Yeah, it might be. Do you remember? Do you remember for the trailer for Civil War, where you see uh, Iron Patriot, War mm. Machine, yeah, whatever name you want to put him by, no. fall out of the sky. You see him when he gets shot down by the Vision towards the end of Civil War in the airport fight. You see him oh, getting yeah. shot at the sky, and you're like, and then you see, and then you see him on the floor as well, yeah. and you see Tony take Tony Stark take off his mask, and you're like, fuck, is he actually dead? And they're going to show that in the trailer. But then you didn't know even more because they showed it until you're like, fuck, is he actually going to die? And they've shown yeah. this. And they didn't die, so it kind of ruined it a bit. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's... <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I completely agree. Yeah. But yeah, that's just trying to mess with your head. Yeah. Fuckers. Disney. I'm excited. Shit, we saw the trailer for it today, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Not we, We've seen it again. before, but we saw it again. <laughs> is what I'm seen this, you guys, you've seen this trailer for it. It's amazing. <laughs> for this film, it's called The Star Wars. <laughs> Star, Star War. Trek Wars? Trek Wars. All right, we should probably move on. Star Trek. Or War drag this out Trek. a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> Moving um, on. Let's go over. Let's let's do uh, best 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 Marvel best Marvel movie moments. Best Marvel movie moments. No, 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 Best Marvel movie moments. Best Marvel not, movie We've decided moment. we're not going to do a countdown because uh, it would be too difficult. I don't want to decide which one's 1 to 10. So, yeah. It's more than 10. So that's probably way down to decide what one's 1 to 10. Yeah, yeah that's going to take too long, isn't it? All right. Should we just talk about them then? Yeah. First one? Yeah. Oh, we should probably say them in order, actually, of when the films come out. Nah, just say them. Nah, I should just say them in the order I've got written down. Right, let's it. do doesn't it. matter. Okay. Yeah. Baby Groot. What? Dancing. <laughs> Sun is shining, sun. Yeah. <laughs> I got the words right. Good moment. Oh, it's because practical. like the first film at the start when he's when uh, Star Wars starts, yeah. it just shows the attitude of this film. Yeah. And it's like this is our biggest <laughs> selling point right now. Yeah. This little mum. Go baby and tree. buy this little toy. <laughs> it's everywhere on sale now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> amazing. Yeah. <laughs> You can buy the dancing one too. Yeah. Like he is in the film. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, so good. Onto a sad note. Yeah. Yondu send off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that one single tear pouring yeah. down Rocket's little face. That was a great. Oh, yeah, his send off. I put send off. Yeah. The send off for the fireworks, but yeah. also the moment when he's. Well, when he actually dies. And there's some very good acting there from uh, there Chris is. Pratt, Chris yeah. Hemsworth, Chris Evans, Chris everyone. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. That was good. All the fireworks got me. I, had, I shed a tear. It was nice. It's nice that you can make it work. That the last shot in your film is a raccoon crying. Yeah. Well done. Well that's one. Done. Yeah. We are Groot. We are Groot. Another teary one. We are Groot. There you are. It's sad. That was such a nice moment in the first film. Any moment with yeah. Groot in the first one was really nice as well. I love all those lights as well, and I always think, oh, it looks so cosy in there. I know so, they're about to get blown up, but. Do you know why it's my favourite bit from that film? No. It just feels really, like, cosy. Like you said, it feels really cosy. That's <laughs> really what I said. said. <laughs> Do you know why I like it? Same reason the you exact like same it. Thing. <laughs> now, but, this might come as a shock to you, Sophie, but, but it's good as... <laughs> I repeat, it, it, I repeat it because I meant like the film. Like, <laughs> no, I know. The I film know, feels cozy. Yeah, no, I because know. Because it kind of feels yeah. like kind of like space cozy, yeah. they call it. Yeah. Ooh. Space oh. cozy. It's a yeah. new genre of music. Yeah. Space cozy. <laughs> God. <laughs> space cozy. If that felt space cozy to me. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Winter Soldier fight. Mm. Yeah. It's uh, quite wonderful quite choreography wonderful. from. I don't know who choreographed it. I don't know what I said from. I don't know. So it goes from the first moment when they're on that bridge mm. and he's chasing the car. Yeah. And that bit. It's just the music. Dun, 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 yeah. Terminator. If I look Terminator. And it's incredible. It's just such a good still, standalone film as well. Like Hands down the best villain still. Yeah. The best Marvel MCU film still. Big time. <laughs> Big time. Slubbing the beer. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. And then yeah. that fight is the you know, it's, it's the choreography. It's yeah. just so cosy. 
Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you to think that was cosy. You like car, car park, yeah. Very strange man. Um, the QR, QR, that was a reveal of who Winter Soldier was as well, though. Yeah. Bucky. It's beautiful. Should have put the mask back on, but moving on. Yeah. On to the next. I didn't, I didn't know what to call this one. I'm just going to say airplane. Airplane. Um, yeah. Best bit in Iron Man 3. Well, it's the money shot of Iron Man 3. Oh, yeah, when yeah. When they're all falling out of the plane. Yeah. He just catches them all. He's like, mine, 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 mine. And it's quite mine. a nice moment because it's a tactical moment. He doesn't just go, oh, I'm going to catch you all. No. I'm going to catch you all and throw you in the water, you stupid bitches. It is he really good, that bit. Sort of levels yeah. them out. It's really cool. I love that bit. I remember watching that the first time and going, go on, go on. Even though you know. And it wasn't entirely go. CGI. It was practical effects as well because they got people to parachute out, didn't they? I don't think I knew that. Well, that's why it's brilliant. I really like Iron Man 3. I like Shane Black. I like love them. Iron Man 3 and I love Iron Man 1. I just love Iron Man. Not I love two. Iron Man. Not so much 2. No. <laughs> Not so much because people didn't like the third one for, probably because of the whole stuff with yeah. the Mandarin. But still, I like I Iron like Man 3. I like 1 and 3. 1, I, do, I love 1. Yeah. Well, I yeah. We should watch Iron Man 3 again, I mm-hmm. Yeah. Next one. Yep. Soup Test. Yeah. Wait. What's Soup Test? You think it's Iron Man? No, it's not. It's Iron Man. <laughs> First time yeah. he puts on the suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's the first, I think it's the first time in this film. I'm oh, pretty so sure it is. When you see it now, him... it's weird that that is this as well. <laughs> like, well my like, mind is. Kind of, yeah, but it's only like a bit of tech, Ding-ding. isn't it? It's weird tech, but. No, I know, I'm just saying that film, Captain America. I can make that to Winter Soldier. And I yeah. know, but do you know what I mean? Blowing my mind. Because there's bits that link over a lot. And they just, like, they have a different feel. You yeah, know what I mean? Do. Like when yes. a film gives you a feeling. Yes. Yeah. Well, completely, because when the soldier's really serious espionage yeah. and this is yeah. a tiny man running them out. <laughs> tiny man! Um, yeah. yeah. I think it's because you see how it is so clever and it looks brilliant. Like mm. It's such a cool idea about man. The whole, that first scene he's in the bath that he falls through yeah. into the nightclub. I think it's cool as well because it's like, it's exactly when you think of when you knew they were going to make an Ant-Man, you're like, that's exactly what you want to see is that scene. Like that's, you want to yeah. see like him shrink down for the first time and be like oh yeah. like getting into a crazy situations so yeah I think it's good exactly yes next one yes airport battle yes yeah very good amazing that was such did a not fucking... disappoint did it the trailer didn't ruin that either like, you <laughs> no just... it didn't the trailer didn't actually go let's show you the whole airport battle they, all they showed you was that they were running at each other about yeah. to they're standing off and you saw them run at each other and they managed to cho- like again choreography but it's Russo uh-huh. Brothers again directing it, they all went off and fought on, uh, against each other yeah. and it all kind of like, it wasn't anyone going hoo, hoo, standing behind no. like we get those horrible like shots where it's just someone's just going ah, hoo, and yeah. doing nothing they all went off against each other yeah. it's just crazy it was yeah. weird to see it and it's probably better it's better than both of them it's just really films, exciting as well like when as you're watching it it's just yeah. like a real yeah and then you get Giant Man as well from it huh? you get Sp- well Spider-E for the first time probably oh, fighting right, yeah, and yeah. then you get Giant Man from it Ant Man when he goes massive Gig. Some insane bits Do, in a bit. Does he have a name for when he's big? Or yeah, he giant just... man, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it is. Big not. man. Big man. Big up the bass man. Is it? <laughs> Slap the bass. Slap the bass man. Slap a jump bass. It works because it's him as well. It so. does work because it's big like... man. It is. Bass man. It's called bass man because it's big. Yeah. <laughs> um, next one. Yes. I'll kill you. We've got what's uh, nice here. I've never seen someone on this because these films only come out in the last year. Yeah. I'll kill you. It's the one we... <laughs> I wasn't saying it again. Next one. I was just saying I'll it. I'll kill you. you. I'll kill you. I oh, know. So I went. Eh. Uh, um, that scene is very good. That Michael was the Keaton's reveal. so flipping good yeah. as well. It's never revealed, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. That is a great scene in the car. Again, this is a nice scene because it's not when they're in a suit. He's not in a spidey suit. Yeah. He's in the back of the car. You can see how vulnerable he is. Yeah. Which is good about the film. You can see how young he is. I was going to say, and he looks so, so young. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I love as well, it's such a little dark, again, because it feels quite edgy for a Marvel film where he just turns his arm to talk to him and he has a gun against the back yeah. of the fucking chair. <laughs> I mean, he obviously doesn't realise in the back it's a gun, but it's the way he decides, like, fucking hell. Yeah. So he seriously pulled a gun on a kid. Crazy. Yeah. Next that one. That was, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that was so good because it was just after, obviously, it revealed that he was her dad. And I just remember everyone going, oh, 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 oh. including oh, us. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. that come on. It was a good yes. reveal, wasn't And it, it gave, and as well, on top of all of that, he had some backstory because of that yeah. bit as well. Yeah. He finally built him up as a character and made him mm. show that he's, as a good actor, you've made him a good villain as well. Yeah. Probably one of them. Again, we, okay, but they're starting to work up villains now, aren't they? Yeah. They're getting a bit better. He's a very good villain. Yeah, he was good. I like him. I just like that he's just a family man that, like, trying to make a business, but his business is obviously ridiculous because yeah. Yeah. No one else Killing people. On to the next. Yeah. 
I've come to bargain. Cool. Doctor Strange. I can't really remember watching this film, but I remember, I remember liking this well. scene. Yeah. Which is where he keeps jumping. He, yeah. He's basically caught the uh, celestial villain yeah. guy at the end in a yeah. time loop to the point that every time he kills Doctor Strange, doesn't make a bargain with him. He keeps coming back. It was just quite a nice way of doing the final battle. Yeah. Because it wasn't... It was anti in the sense that you didn't see much, but at the same time it wasn't. Mm. Because... To be, I, I'm only jumping. going... Because mm, mm, I can't really remember this film very well. No. The thing I don't is, know why. You could pick... The thing really? is, you could pick any of the scenes where it's like uh, Inception-style mm. scenes where there's sort of like all the buildings is going ape shit and all that yeah. stuff. But you see all that in the trailers again. It's not the best scenes because yeah. you know it's coming. But this bit you didn't know. And it's, you saw it in Inception already. Yeah. <laughs> Had you not seen that in Inception, I think Doctor Jesus, Strange would have been like, oh, oh yeah. my God. But everyone was like, oh, it's like Inception. Yeah. <laughs> but these special yeah. effects were still incredible. Oh, they, no, no, they were amazing. Yeah. They were amazing. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Next one? Yes. Uh, there are no strings on me. I ain't got no yeah, strings on me. Bit when, uh... Iron Man. No. Dingy. <laughs> Age what? of Ultron, Second Avengers. It's when they first... They, uh, do, you know what, do you know what I like about this? It's because you have that really nice dining scene <laughs> in Age of Ultron. <laughs> where it's all of them... Um, they're all like having a party at the Avengers Tower. All in casual wear. Yeah. Quite a nice scene. It's like... Do you know why it's nice? Because Joss Whedon directed this. And he did obviously the Firefly. Yeah. And it feels like Firefly because all his characters are joking around together. Oh, yeah. And they're all casual together. Yeah. And having dinner and stuff. That's why it feels really nice. He's great with an ensemble. And then you have it, but it just goes to shit. And they all start... It's when they're trying to pick up his hammer. And then... Ultron comes in, starts trying to kill him, and they all take him down. They're a bit edgy. They don't fight back very well, either. they get a bit wrecked. And then he's a creepy ass Iron Man suit robot talking That's to him in a joker voice. What, well, when you said Iron Man? Yeah, Iron I Man. meant the suit, not it's in Iron Man. Yeah, that bit anyway, okay. when he looks like a creepy pumpkin Iron Man suit. Pumpkin. <laughs> it does, it's like the way its mouth's cut. It yeah, I like know. <laughs> Jaggedy. Yeah. On to the next. Yes. First Avengers. Yeah. I've called it Avengers A Circle. Oh! Oh! You've got to have this in there. It's yeah. The first one all back to back. And yeah. it's right after Hulk's like, I'm always angry. Yeah. Do you want my, no, as you say, do you know what my secret is? I'm always angry. Yeah. And then punches a big and fucking worm. turns tits. immediately. <laughs> I don't really get that. What? Why he says that? They just turn. Yeah, because that, like, no, makes you line. think that he can control it. And it, it's, no, can't. he can't control it. No, I know. I First kinda, Transformers makes you think Bumblebee's got his voice back to his own back. Yeah, it's just weird because it's like, I don't know, it's like they went, this line is so cool, we've got to have this in there. But it kind of like goes against everything that we know about Hulk, so. Yeah. <sighs> Take that one out then. Take that Get out. rid of it. <laughs> no, but the back-to-back stuff is awesome. Yes, it is. And the last one? Again, sorry, no. but it's like <laughs> Ant-Man where it's like it's exactly what you wanted to see. Yeah. It's, oh, it's them in a circle like, back-to-back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And then the last one. Yes. Do you know what the last one is? No. Yeah, I do. Da na na na. Da na na. Do you we've called it? Da, na, my turn. It's not what you called it, is it? Yeah. It is. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't when he when, when he again. yeah the Mark One suit and he comes out of the cave, and then he flies off. And then immediately crashes into the desert, and there's pieces of him. Yeah, but it's cool because it's the first time we've ever seen an Avenger first time, yeah. suit up. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good, and I think it's so good as well because I lo- I love the whole bit of him like making the suit in secret, and you're like, oh my god, they're gonna find out he's making the suit, and then obviously is like really good friends with that guy, and then I can't remember what his name is now, but then yeah, and he's just died, and then he comes out, and you're like, oh no, and you're like really sad off the back of him just dying, and then he just wrecks all those guys, yeah. flies yeah. off, and it's really in cool. His tin can suit. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. And that is all of them. Do you have a favourite out of those? That is your favourite, isn't it? I don't know. No, I don't think that is my favourite. Oh, I don't know. It's really hard to pick a favourite. I want to say Winter Soldier, but that's just because it's my favourite film. I was going to say, and... yeah, I think I just like to have a real soft spot for the first Iron Man film for some reason. I don't know why. Well, then would you say you're the first Iron Man's your favourite out of all of them? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I don't know what's so my favourite is out there. Do you know what? Probably not, because I I, I, it's probably not my favourite film. Because I, I don't know, because I love Winter Soldier. Now that we watched it again, I, like, I did not remember how good that was until we watched it. Um, again, like a couple of months ago. That's incredible. <laughs> You're going to repeat the sentence As again. I love it. I thought Spider-Man was really good too. Like, I was really surprised by how much I liked that. 
Um, you can't really compare them. They're all very different. That's the thing. That's not. Just, yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. That's the thing about saying like just saying now. I can't imagine them all like being in the same yeah. universe. I think there's why I say Winter there. Soldiers because I see them all as Marvel films. Yeah. And Winter Soldier, I like off a level where if it wasn't a Marvel film, I still think it works. That's what I was saying Batman before. Film. It's like an uh, just a standalone film. It's really good. Yeah. All right then. Favorite. It's that. not Doctor Strange. <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> what is it time for? <gasps> news, 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 news. Yeah. <laughs> first bit of news. Mm. Bit late news, but we just saw it. Fallen Kingdom first look at <sighs> Jurassic World Two. Oh yeah, do you know what I thought about that? What? Uh, nothing, because it didn't show me anything. <laughs> <laughs> just been going. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah! yeah. Do you know well, I, I think it was like her driving and like seeing flashbacks of the first film and like how bad everything was, and then I think she sees something else terrible happen like now, and then and that's it. Yeah, you know I thought that you're yawning again and I'm boring you. <laughs> we, uh, we, let's just say this now: we got up early. We got up really early to go watch the before all. we recorded this. And now we're all tired. Um, tired. <laughs> I thought. Uh, yeah. This little bit of a first look. Yeah. Why is Bryce, what's her name? Dallas, Dallas Howard. Why? Why is she in it still? She wasn't like a. She's not a dinosaur fucking hunter. If everything's gone to shit, why is she still around? <laughs> she's a fucking science. She well, was no, like, she was a scientist though, wasn't was she? Was she a scientist or did she just work in the? But why is she no, there? I, think she... I get why Chris Pratt's there. He should have been around in the first one till it went to shit. Now he should be around this one because it's gone to shit. She shouldn't fucking still be around there fucking him, should she? <laughs> she didn't fucking. I she hope, didn't do anything in the I first I think they'll take the her out of her heels for this one. I think she'll be running about. Yeah, because they got so much shit about putting her in, yeah. in the first place. It's really weird. She looked really young in that trailer. Like, her hair was long. She just looked like she, she looked. She looked the same. Maybe mm. she's a clone. Oh Maybe they my clone god. Her. Jesus Christ. Um, do you know what? Else? You know what she can't be in this one crying in a car like it's Interstellar. That's what she was doing, though. She's done it. That's what I said. Too she late. can't be doing that. Well, she's done it. It looked funny. It looked exactly like the first teaser for Interstellar. <laughs> where it's like, yeah, yeah, I know. It's yeah. like they were trying to do it for a Jurassic World. Um, and also, it kind of annoyed me the like slow like. Dun, 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 Did it? I quite like yeah, that. because no, it annoyed me because I like it so much. And I don't like the first. I don't Jurassic want World. them to have that theme. Yeah. <laughs> I know they obviously will because that's the theme. Yeah. But I like that so much, and the like the slow ominous piano music that makes you go oh god yeah, oh my just... god and it does not go with what that trailer just gave me it's right. like you you cannot like it's almost like the trailer's not worthy of using it do yeah. you know what i mean yeah probably only shit probably <laughs> don't like i won't watch first well, it's really annoying it once, i love dinosaurs so much <laughs> and? and i love jurassic park and i love and they're ruining it i like it. cats but i probably won't like nine lives Ruined my that space is best work. How dare you? How dare you? I can't. But I do, like, what was the scenario of that? Oh, Kevin, um, it's your agent. We've got a, a script for you. Yeah, go on. Well, you're a cat. That should have been it. That should have been the end of you're it. You're a cat. Yeah. Go on. How much? Yeah. We'll pay you in pedigrees. Yeah. <laughs> What will happen? You'll be this cat, but because we need the money, we're going to put your face on the poster yeah. on a photo. On the poster, because the cat is enough of your name on the fucking thing. Little shits they are for doing that. Honestly. It's best, it's best work. How do you go from Honestly. House of Cards, though? How, I know. To nine lives. House of Cards to Nine Lives. Well, oh. you've ruined your life. Oh, Christ. <laughs> he hasn't ruined his life, has he? He's fine. <laughs> He's probably fine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Next bit of news? Mm-hmm. Best bit of news of the year? Yeah. Michael Bay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, He's yeah. producing... Yeah. Oh, we can make a video for this so easily. <laughs> Mixed together. Michael Bay is producing, supposedly, he's not direct, but this doesn't sound like he's directing it. But he's producing. putting money towards at least. Yeah. A Dora the Explorer live action film. Yeah. I won't say remake, because as soon as I hear live action, I hear the word remake. Live Do you know why? Because we have to have a fucking live action remake of everything now, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's hilarious. That is going to be the film of the century. century. Yeah. yeah. No. What is that going to be like? What is 
Well, he's in a producing suit. He probably has no, not much. I don't know if he had massive control over it. No, but why but is still, he? Why like, is he doing it? The, the, I think the title of the news sounds funnier than it actually being a thing because he could just be producing. He could just be giving money to it because he likes his daughter likes. I was gonna say uh, it might just be like a family it. thing. Like, guess what? We're making a film. I've done for it for you. you. Yeah. Some daughters just pulling fucking. But I really don't. Hat. Yeah. I was fucking gonna say, two I want <laughs> setting explosives. I want that to be the case. Yeah. You got any other news for me? Mm, no. Yes, I do. Yeah. I wrote it down. Let me remember. Off the top of my. I mean, if not, we're good. Here. Oh. We're giving them an hour eighteen of gold. I mean, what I was going to say is not that interesting. Oh. It's TV news anyway. Doctor Who. Yeah, Bradley Walsh has joined. Do- do- <laughs> Bradley Walsh has joined as one of three companions. Do you know what's Doctor scary? That's just the worst thing about that news. news. Three companions what? have joined. The one who's most you're gonna. The only person who's worth saying is Bradley Walsh. I oh, know. That's never good, is it? So saying. Oh, no. There's three amazing films coming out, and the best one's directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> Not saying There's much, t- <laughs> three best films of the year coming out, and the best one is Dora the Explorer. Yeah. Uh, all... The other two might be good. I don't know who they are. Well, one of them was in Force Awakens, but we had to look him up because we were like, I don't recognise him from Force Awakens. And then we still didn't really recognise him. <laughs> <laughs> we Force looked Awakens. him up. There's just a shot of him. One I'd sh- laugh if it was just like a picture of like Per Jammer and he was just like right in the back, like. <laughs> <laughs> Or it was that he was in it. But Face he was down. that part. It was that he's that partner. But if in the film, it was they're like red leader, the red one, red yeah. leader, red one here, red leader, yeah. red two, red red two here, red leader, red three. Red. They just cut him. Back That'd be amazing. Back. That'd be so good. Just completely um, cut his line. But yeah, that was kind of a bummer finding that out. Yeah. Well, that's <sighs> it then. I say. Yes. Hey ho! Off the way we don't go. Yes. yes. Next week. Fine. Oh, next week's a big one. Next week. Horror movie showdown. Next week's Star Wars. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm so confused. Yeah, horror movie showdown. Yeah. We ain't talking no mainstream Ghost. jump scares, motherfucking shit. We're talking indie, indie gold. Yeah, indie, indie gold. gems. Yeah. Possibly classics. Prob- maybe some classics. Maybe mention a few, but we're going to do Maybe some things do- that just scare us. Sh- it's going to be horror. Let's yeah, just say it's going to be horror. horror. Yeah. It's going to be good horror. We'll decide and maybe some next bad week. horror. That's when you tune in next week and we're like, we couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's too it's scary. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah. But uh, horror it is. Horror it will be. Yeah. A spooky Halloween special. Oh. And also, oh. about Sorry. the same time, we'll have Stranger <laughs> yeah. Things 2 at that point, so we'll mm. be sure to be doing an episode of Are You Still Watching yeah. for that. Yes. Find us on YouTube. Find us on Twitter. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Facebook. If you find us on YouTube, what are we calling this works? Yeah. If you find us on all the other places and our other YouTube channel, it's Wide Eyed Runners. Wide Eyed Runners. Wide Eyed is one word and then runners. Yes, it's a big um, We'd love to yeah, hear yeah. from you. So and Make sure that one kid who left a comment. Oh, yeah, we got our first hate mail! <laughs> <laughs> you shit fucking what did he review. Call us? You shit like this film. <laughs> called us like fucking. Shit film. Like you fucking nerd shit review. dicks or something. <laughs> like dicks. these films and you're a dick and you're a nerd it's funny it's a good first comment Lifting yeah my morale thanks buddy it's really nice when we hear from a fan <laughs> <laughs> the fan that's really funny he's the only one that clicks on us just he yeah. backs off and clicks on again yeah. because it's our views and we've upset him because we like the film we didn't alright leave it there yeah alright we're out peace out bros Bye. and, and sisters oh. Oh, and the kind it, of person you are to me on a terrible note Goodbye, people. All equal alike. Yeah, sorry.